right, today we are talking about why people use hearing aids and do they fix your hearing. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Michael Squires. And I'm Dr. Carly Squires. And this is Dr. Squires Squared. This is a channel where we have candid and casual conversation about anything and everything audiology. And if you don't know what we're talking about, stick around, make sure to like uh, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll tell you everything we know about it. So today we're talking about why people wear hearing aids, what's the motivation to actually do something about it, and does it actually fix the hearing loss? Yes, and we actually want to say that these questions that we're going to be answering, um, we're going to start with these two, were asked to me on an interview um, by a couple community members on the uh, arc of the Mid-Ohio Valley. So we we thought they were great questions yep. and questions that we actually get asked a lot by our patients or other people in the community. So we thought we would tackle those questions here on our little podcast and see what else we can come up with. Right, so the first thing to, to consider is why somebody would want to treat their hearing loss in the first place and, and we get this i get this from patients a lot it's like okay well i haven't really noticed my hearing loss mm -hmm. to this point it hasn't become um super impactful for mm -hmm. me what's my motivation then right or i'm, I'm getting by just fine it, it seems right. like i'm doing pretty well do i really need hearing aids why would i need hearing aids? well and then right. oftentimes there's a family member sitting in there <laughs> well, going, yeah. Like, you may have been doing well, but I've had some struggles. I used to have a, um, a stacky sticky notes that said, when somebody in the family has a hearing loss, everybody in the family has a hearing problem. And, and <laughs> that kind of is, is the foundation for a lot of motivation. We see patients that come in and say, my wife made me come in today or, <laughs> yeah. or, you know, or a family member or something like that. Yeah. So, okay. So other than pleasing a family member, yeah, why, yeah. Would why, you, would we wanna why would you correct your hair? or help your hearing? You know, a lot of it comes down to some of this, the, the recent research, uh, the statistics that we see. It, it seems that even over the past many years that, that hearing aids have been available, the market penetration for people who have hearing loss is still only about 25 to, to 30 percent or so. Um, what that means is that out of all the people who could benefit from hearing aids, only about a quarter of them are, are actually investigating or, or, or using those options. And I, I think oftentimes people just really don't think they have as much of a problem as as what they do. Right. Because hearing loss is kind of one of those invisible issues. It is, and I often use explanation or the analogy to say, great, I'm glad you aren't noticing you know, a huge impact on your daily life right now, but that's because your brain is awesome. Our brains are amazing right. at compensating. And so when any of us have any sort of sensory issue or, or any issue with our body, what happens? Our brain or the other parts of our body kick in to try to help. Well, that's that's right. kind of that, that nature and what we're made to do. And so with hearing loss, it's no different. Your brain, when you have hearing loss, other parts of your brain are coming in with their resources right. to try to fix it or compensate, and which is why a lot of people may not notice immediate difficulty or or impactful, you know, significant difficulty there. But it's when the brain can no longer compensate yes. that people get all of a sudden motivated to do something. Sure. And in many cases, we've waited too long to get the maximum benefit out of right. the devices. Right. So one of the main, I, I guess, to, to digress a little bit, the, the main motivation in my eyes is to avoid long-term issues that are going to kind of pile up without mm -hmm. treating hearing loss. Right. Sooner is always better than later when it comes to treating a hearing loss. Mm -hmm. Preventative maintenance is, is mm -hmm. kind of the key. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I, I tell people a lot of times with this, and we have some episodes saying, like, what are, uh, what do we call it, the ba your baggage, your hearing, yeah, loss, yeah, has hearing baggage. loss has baggage. Go back and watch those episodes because it goes into exactly what we're talking about, those long-term effects. And I tell a lot of my patients, hey, listen, this isn't a today thing. It's not even a tomorrow thing. This is a down-the-road thing, and we're talking preventative care. But also, the other side of it is, because you've compensated for so long for this you know, hearing impairment, once we actually do something to, fi to fix or correct or help that problem, many people are very surprised as to what they were missing. 
Yeah, absolutely. Which is a kind of a great segue to the mm -hmm. second part of the mm -hmm. question. Once we treat the hearing loss mm -hmm. with hearing aids, mm -hmm. is the hearing loss gone? Have we fixed it? No. Yeah. The answer is no. I, and then we've actually, I've had a patient specifically ask that question pretty recently. Okay, you're, we're going to wear the hearing aids and then is my hearing loss fixed? Do I still have hearing loss? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes, you still have hearing loss. And those devices, that widget that we use to correct many types of hearing loss, not all, but right. when it's appropriate, hearing aids are a great tool. When those are on the ears appropriately fit and you're using those regularly, that is enhancing your hearing. And I don't want to say fixing because it's, no, it's not a, completely. It's a corrective it's measure. It's a corrective measure yep. while they're on and if you're wearing them. When they're off, that hearing loss is still there. Yeah, and a, a great example of that is cochlear implants. Mm -hmm. In many cases during the surgery for cochlear implants, we've lost the majority of the usable hearing that may or may not have been there anyway. When that person is wearing the cochlear implants, they may do very well. You may, in some cases, not even know that they're having any communication issues at all. But when that cochlear implant comes off, mm -hmm. there's no usable hearing. Mm -hmm. and, and hearing aids are uh, kind of operate in the similar way. When you take the hearing aid off, you're back where you started mm -hmm. before you treated the hearing loss. Exactly. So there are some hearing aids that you don't take off, mm -hmm. which allows you to kind of wear that at all times. Mm -hmm. But the same principle applies. If that device were to come out, mm -hmm. we're back to square one. All right, so in summary, why would you want to wear hearing aids? Well, the immediate you know, answer to that is to treat your hearing loss. Mm -hmm. But as we discussed and touched on and we talked about in some previous episodes, there are some long-term, more preventative care kind of other areas that would be also helped by those hearing aids. So that's why you would want to do that. Also to help that your family members and please your wife. So that's another big reason. Oh, yeah. The, the number one reason. The number is, one, actually. Is your wife. Yeah. And then the other thing that we talked about is, you know, if we treat our hearing loss with hearing aids, does that fix the problem and we can kind of forget about it from now on? The answer just simply is no. Mm -hmm. It's a sensory type of an issue that we're using hearing aids as a corrective measure. They are prescriptive in many cases. And when we're using that prescription appropriately, we have effectively treated the hearing loss, meaning we've given that person access to sound so that communication gets easier, we get a cleaner, clearer signal to the brain, and everything and everybody is happy. When we take those hearing aids off, we, we, we revert right back to that hearing loss. So it's something to really consider with friends and family when they take their hearing aids off. Just keep that in mind, that they may go back to some of those difficulties that they had prior to treating the hearing loss. Um, which is also another encouragement to keep those hearing aids on. So if you liked what you heard, if you liked what you saw today, please like, share, um, leave us a comment, or you know, if you have ideas for other things, please give us a call at the office at 304-428-2403 or shoot us an email at info at Thanks, everybody. See you later.